On today's episode, we put my professional fabrication skills to work. Remember kids, you can't screw up your measurements if you don't measure in the first place. Torch hand from the promised land. Whoever said that gap couldn't be filled clearly didn't have a nut and bolt bin in their shop. You gotta do dumb things to learn and get wiser, so you might as well. Well, as you can probably see here, the old 79 F-150 got turned into a boom truck. Now, uh, here's some of the footage of the process to make that happen. In the shop here, working on the A-frame part of it now. Just got a random piece stuck onto them to hold them together while I figure out the bottom and start putting cross bracing in between. And then once this is all established and we've got a nice solid framework, I'm going to take uh, rebar and do trussing on top of it just to add extra strength. We've got baby deer on the scene picking parts from the backyard for uh, the fabricating. So good to have that thing in use. Definitely uh, saves on the back quite a bit. So that's always a plus. So we've got our basic setup here established. So now we'll just keep adding to it and welding things to it all right got the lower piece set up here took the torch and notched out these other ones a little bit kind of to get this uh, bottom one to fit up into them a little bit better so that there's not such an aggressive gap there's still a pretty good gap as is but i think i can fill that just fine just pour all the 7018 and the heat to her and she'll be fine so we'll go ahead and get this bottom locked into the set up here and then start doing braces all the way up the thing all right got all the cross bracing finished up in there i did one side of them with uh, the stick welder and then for these other sides that had a little bit more of a gap i just used the mig seemed to work out all right and uh it laid in there good so i think she'll be good and strong now don't look at it too close they're a little bit crooked in there only because i just you know kind of cut some marginal angles on the chop saw and those pipes and just slipped them in there where they would fit the best and tacked them in there so i mean it's no beauty contest we're looking for functional so that's the way this build's going so now with this all mainframe wrapped up we will uh, grab the tractor pick this thing up take it out to the truck and then i will start setting up my mounting tabs on the bottom of it so that it can be mounted to the truck and it will pivot and it can be adjusted height wise so we'll go ahead and get all that set up and check back in after well i torched a couple tabs out of this random flat plate that i had and they turned out pretty decent grab this one here and i rounded out the bottoms so it'll fit on that pipe good and can be welded up fairly strong and they're gonna go on the bottom like that one on each side and I got this other one to match up pretty decent to it so they're uh, just needing uh, cleaned up get all the roughness off of them and the slag and whatnot and then we can get them welded up and then uh, before they go on I'll find what size bolts I'm gonna use and then torch out the holes for those and then we'll just have to weld tabs on the other part that's on the truck and then we can get this thing bolted up and suspended and we'll be ready to go all right got the rest of the tabs all set up here i cut three more out of that flat plate and then this was one that i had it was uh, a little bit longer about this long and i just cut it off and i used this one as a template and drew it out three times on that flat plate I had and then I cut them out so got four ready to go they all match the bolts that I'm going to use go through each hole that I blasted through including these ones that'll go to the bottom there so these four will go on the truck those two will go on there and throw the bolts through them and we'll be in business well, the truck is back here in the shop on the rack again. I'm going to go ahead and finish up all the work underneath that needs to be done so I can use the lift and before the boom goes on, because once that is on the truck, I won't be able to raise it up because it'll hit the ceiling. So we're going to go ahead and get everything wrapped up under here ahead of time. And then I won't have to take the boom back off. But one of the issues, I mean, you don't even hardly need a clutch Z-bar to work. 
So I'm going to try and weld a washer on this side of that Z-bar so that the rod won't wear through it completely and I lose my clutch. Now, the probability of catching the whole truck on fire based upon how greasy everything is is probably pretty high, but we're going to send it anyways. I mean, you got to do dumb things to learn and get wiser, so you might as well. And then after that is taken care of, the new U-joint is here for the front drive shaft. Then that can go back in. And then the structure I've uh, welded onto the frame for the boom, I'm going to go underneath and then X-brace it down to the bottom of the frame just to add more strength. So this piece here, basically, I can weld it right here. And then I'm going to go from about the middle and brace it down here. Same with this side from about there down to here. Just, just to add some strength. And uh, after that, it should be all right. It probably doesn't even need it as is, but I'm a firm believer in overbuild it and be done with it. So that's what we're gonna do. So anyways, that's the game plan. Go ahead and start knocking this stuff out and I'll show you guys the result after. Well, I ended up just taking the Z-bar out. It's pretty easy. I only took uh, one bolt out of this pivot bracket here, and then I swung it out of the way, so that made it easy. And I got it here in this vise on the welding bench. You can see it's quite worn out. doesn't have much life left in it. Probably would have lasted a little bit longer, but wanted to take care of it. So my plan for this is to weld a washer on each side. Now, to make sure the washers line up so that the clutch rod will go through them, I'll take this bolt, which fits these washers nicely, and put the other one on that side, and I'll just clamp this together and tack them there, and then with the bolt through both of them, I know that they'll line up perfectly for that clutch rod. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these welded on here, and we'll be able to throw this back in the truck. All right, got that taken care of. Not uh, the prettiest, but it will work. Just need to clean it up with the grinder now and then get it back in the truck and we'll be good. There we go, she's back in the truck. All hooked up and bolted down. I even greased the uh, pivot balls there and we got a cotter pin back through it. It didn't even have one before. I don't know how it didn't fall out. I guess it was just uh, keeping on in there somehow, so. She shouldn't go anywhere now and should last for quite a while. So glad to have that taken care of. Now we'll keep on moving to the bracing underneath. All right, got all the bracing finished up here. We'll have a look. Now for the framework behind the cab that'll hold the rigging, I took some uh, short pieces of angle iron and just did this, braced them up like so. That way they don't stick way out and interfere with the drive shaft or anything. Of course, it'd be pretty difficult for that to happen, but looks good. Not the prettiest welds. Of course, it's all out of position on dirty stuff because I didn't clean much very good. And then back here for the other frame that'll have the tabs on it that the boom mounts to, I took even bigger chunks of angle iron, kind of matched them up and centered them. And uh, we got bracing that way too. And I did these on the back side of this piece because the boom will have pressure this way so i figured uh that'll kind of help from keeping that frame from wanting to twist like this so with the bracing on the back that should take care of any potential issues like that and of course they're welded all the way around as much as i could on uh, every surface so got that one finished up and then those are good so that should conclude all the work underneath this truck that I needed to have it on the lift for. So now we can uh, clean stuff up, get the truck down, get it off the rack, and take it outside and get the boom mounted up and start welding all those tabs on. All right, got those all welded in pretty good. Down here on the bottom, I uh, made a really hot pass and it was pretty narrow and I had a lot of undercut. So afterwards, I uh, cleaned the slag off and made a lower amperage, wide cover pass over all the beads for the tabs where they mount to here. 
and that seemed to work out pretty good. And then for around the boom on those tabs, I just made a nice hot pass and it turned out pretty decent. Not uh, the best welds in the world, but they're not the worst either, I don't think. We'll definitely hold and do the job. I also got in there in between the tabs, so they should be good and strong. Got her flipped over here so I could finish up welding the other halves of these circles here. Got some pretty good welds laid into those too. I burned them in pretty hot, so shouldn't have any issue with them. And uh, I also got on the insides of these tabs here. Now for these ends that are kind of sticking over, it's uh, kind of difficult to do with the stick welder, so I may touch those up with the MIG afterwards, but for now, they're on there plenty good. And then also on my bracing down below, I reached down and laid a bead on that side on each one, so that'll help. So now, this thing's ready to get flipped back down and then I can work on the end cap. And then after that, we can start rigging it up and set the height and everything where I want it. And it'll pretty much be done. Now I got it laid back down on the barrel so I could work on the end piece. Just got that finished up. Now I usually like a nice heavy chunk of angle iron to lay on here and cap the end, but I didn't have any and I was scrounging around through my metal piles. And I found this random flat plate that had a bend in it already, like the perfect bend. So all I did was torch it the right width and laid it on here and it worked out pretty good. And it actually runs down a pretty decent length on the boom itself so that'll add a lot of strength to the end it's kind of a hack job over here uh, because this piece of pipe is smaller that somebody scabbed in so um yeah I, I just laid random chunks of plate in there and filled the gap so i mean it's ugly but it'll work doing it the alaskan way with uh working with what we've got and same for this side, just laid in that 7018 nice and hot, so she's good and strong. And then around the pipe like so, same over here, around there. And then for the, uh, the hoist, to hang the hoist on, um, what I've used in the past, like on the green boom truck, is just a, a chunk of a U-bolt from a leaf spring pack. They're good and strong, and I've never broken one or bent one yet, so... Might as well stick with what you know. So I found a U-bolt out back and welded it on there. And then this single tab is going to get a clevis on it, like uh, these ones behind the cab. And with that single clevis, I'll just do a whole loop through that clevis and back to here. And that'll be the rigging for the boom. And then uh, just adjust whatever height that I want. But pretty much that's the gist of it now. She's pretty well wrapped up, so I think it's ready to stand the thing up with the tractor and rig it now. So, yeah, she's coming along. No uh, perfection contest by any means. Just uh, building something out of nothing, the true Alaskan way. So we'll get uh, cleaned up here, stand this thing up and uh, set, get it all set up and check back in after. Well, here she is all rigged up, ready to go. Still needs uh, the welds cleaned up and uh, spray painted, but this is the roughed in finished product. Turned out pretty, pretty darn good, I'm happy with it. Not too bad for only my second build. My first one being the, uh, the single boom on the back of the smashed up green Ford that I have that you guys have seen a lot of on the channel, unless you're new. And if you are new, go check out the previous videos. It's pretty good stuff. But uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, got it uh, pretty well set at the height that I want it. And uh, 
when I had it laid out on the barrel working on it, I was kind of looking at it and I was like, well, I hope this thing's long enough to give me enough reach off the back of the truck to pick stuff. And uh, once I got it stood up and chained up where I wanted it, it definitely looks a lot better. That's plenty of room to, uh, to pick up motors and whatnot and still, uh, you know, drag a car out of the woods too. So a nice in-between. And then uh, the chains obviously make it uh, super easy to adjust as well. I can raise it up or lower it. I figured that'll be way easier to deal with than cables like the other boom, but um, I'll probably tape the hooks up or wire them or whatever just for safety so they don't, you know, this thing gets to bounce and they don't come unhooked or anything stupid like that. But uh, yeah super happy with it my original design i wanted to build a full-on headache rack and brace it back and everything and rig off to that but just for uh limited resources and i'm kind of pressed for time for an upcoming job with this thing i uh, just decided to go right on the frame with the tabs and rig it that way and it uh it worked out good so only thing left to do other than clean it up some is grab the chain hoist and hang it off of this one and start putting the thing to use we'll have to make a little video of testing it out too i also cheated a little bit and i made my the tabs kind of lengthy to get a little bit more height out of it and i think that was a good move because it uh, it definitely helps the truck itself isn't quite done just yet i need to set up some overload tabs on the rear of the frame so that i can slip blocks of wood in there to limit the travel and then the other thing she needs a nice big old wrecker style bumper to go on the front so probably next week i'm gonna get started on that Probably won't film anything, but I'll sh definitely show you guys the end result and how it turns out. I think it's going to look pretty sick once uh, I get the thing all set up how I have it imagined in my mind. So definitely going to be a good one. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the build video. I know I didn't show every little process of doing it, but you get the general idea of how to uh, set one of these up. It's just a quick down and dirty, use what you got type situation the Alaskan way. So that's how a lot of things are done up here these trucks no matter how old they are from the 40s up to now they've been getting this kind of stuff built onto them just because of the fact that a plain old four by is uh an absolute tool up here and they get used until they aren't usable anymore and uh, it's pretty wild what people have done to machinery and whatnot to to get jobs done and get by with uh, limited resources so that's kind of the inspiration to this build, just like the Green Boom truck. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And definitely stay tuned to see this thing in action, doing some work. And yeah, until the next time, I'll see you guys later.